What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here, and today we are back on some grounded survival. Today, I am going to be showing you the location of the four leaf. Clover. Now, if you didn't know there was a four-leaf clover in the game, well, there is. It is hidden away, and it is like a secret location that you can go and find, which will now also unlock a perk for you, or mutation, whatever you want to call it. So, if you open your inventory and you scroll over to status, you, you've got all these uh, mutations now. I've already covered the juicy one. That was really, really easy. If you don't know how to get it, you basically got to discover all five juice box locations. I have got a video on that already, so make sure you go and check it out, it is on my channel. But the one we'll be look, uh, unlocking today is that one right in the corner. It's for finding the four leaf clover, obviously, but like I said, it does give you a perk. It makes you lucky. Uh, now, what they mean by lucky is you're more likely to get critical hits uh, against creatures. That's all it. That's basically all it means by lucky. Uh, so we're on the map. We're gonna head over in this direction. So we're gonna go roughly around here It's where like the kind of wetlands is next to the hedge. So that's where we roughly going to be going But as you can see I'm at the mysterious machine right now just to make it easier for everyone. So you go roughly in uh, that direction So it'll be uh, this way ish I wish there was a like a compass on the screen that we could really tell where we're exactly going. But it's roughly uh, this direction. So we need to make it to the wetlands. I call the wetlands. And there's like two different like wetlands kind of things. Um, but on this, I would advise you you have some kind of torch because we're gonna have to go somewhere that's pretty darn dark. And you're going to want a torch. Just them again. I hate them. They, apparently they fix the sound. Or the little grubs that come out the thing. Because they were like extremely loud. And the, those were scaring everyone. Because they would just pop up from nowhere. Uh, but they're still pretty darn loud. They really, really are. And they still, they still uh, spook me a bit every time. Making, 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 looking around, sorry, because there are spiders and everything that can uh, be over here. Just like there, there, <laughs> a wolf spider. We're going to ignore, try and ignore these little red ones. As much as we possibly can. Because they're just really annoying. Do, 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 do. So yeah, there is a wolf spider that can spawn over here, so be very, very uh Cautious, and there is these guys as well that can spawn here. Uh, but if you're across the water from them, they won't come into the water and try and get you. Just they just can't. So we kind of off. We need to go a bit further up here. And the location to this is in the water. So be. So you're gonna have to find it yourself. It's a little like tunnel place in the water. It can be somewhat hard to find if you don't know where it is. Uh, but it is here. If you, you can't really see that, but that's where we're going to need to go. So let me give you uh, like a point of view if I'm not getting stuck in leaves. So it's kind of this rotten leaf here. Uh, there's another rotten leaf there. It's really hard to try and describe or visualize exactly where it is. Uh, but it's below that rotten leaf there. And here it is exactly on the map. We're going to zoom here. So I've judged it by that little circle there. If you come roughly over there, you're going to see this rotten leaf. And that's where you need to go down. So we are going to need our torch. So I've actually made two. We're just going to whack it into our offhand. And now we gotta go through this. So make sure you do have full oxygen before you go in, because this can be quite a long way. And make sure you got full health as well. So if you do run out of oxygen, you've still got your health bar uh, to go through before you actually die. But let's jump straight into this. 
but just keep following this all the way through. Uh, you can get stuck on some rocks and stuff here and there, just like I just did. Just keep following it, keep following it. See, I've just run out of oxygen, so I'm now taking damage. Now, I wasn't exactly sprinting either, but that's the hole. And Kabuya, there you have it. Four leaf clover, you have discovered the four leaf clover. And there we have it, we have got the mutation. Cooped grass. Uh, so yeah, that that's really how simple it is, mortals. It's really that quick, like I said, make sure you got full health. Uh, I didn't properly. Uh, and I wasn't swimming very fast, I was trying to get it through slowly, so you mortals could actually see exactly where I was going. Nothing bad spawns down here, so don't be worried. Uh, you can, I'll walk around and just show you that nothing bad spawns down here. So don't be too scared to come down here on your own. Uh, but there it is. That is. This is the four leaf clover. Now I'm pretty sure you can still cut this down. But I'm going to leave it here. Because it's actually very, very cool. And it's under kind of a like uh, a hole in the ground. Very cool. It brightens it up really, really nicely. There you have it, Moles. That is it. We go over to the actual status bar now. And here it is. Discover a beacon of hope in the darkness. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, that's it. And like I said, the only thing this mutation does really give you is luck, which is a better chance of in a critical hit against an enemy. So, Mose, that is it. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was a really short video. Um, but yeah, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.